Hello everybody, Ian Robson here, welcome back to Oklahoma. Alright, we got them going we got a couple things going on today. I'm joined on the server by Spud. And we have a great demand going on for sorghum, so that's why I'm in the Peterbilt right now. And we're just selling it up at the farm co-op there. And I can't tell how much money I have right now because I'm not logged in as the admin. Which is fine. All we need to know is that there's a great demand, basically. So, anyways, just want to go ahead and thank again my uh, patrons. Thank you again, everybody. You guys are awesome. So these patrons are supporting me through Patreon, which I really appreciate, of course. That is for the dream of becoming a farmer, well, a part-time farmer at the very least, in the distant future or future, who knows. That's the idea behind it. And, um, yeah, anyways, I think I'm tired. I apologize. It's warm here now, and it's late at night. Well, late at night for me, at least. If you look at the top right hand corner, you can see the real time mod. So it shows it as 8.54, which is super late for me recording. Normally I record at about 6 a.m., but that's the way it goes sometimes. And we do have a little bit of sorghum. I don't know how much we have left. Uh, as you can see, there's a great demand there. I think we have 300,000 liters is what we think we had. Yes. All right, let's go ahead and sell the second load here. Now, the funny thing is, I don't know what sorghum actually looks like in real life, but in this game, that's what it looks like on this map, at least. So you let me know whether that actually... Oops. Whether that actually looks like sorghum to you or not, because I have no idea. Um, a lot of times, sorghum is used for... Um, silage as far as I understand and yeah I think you can get one or two cuts out of sorghum which is a bit different than like corn for example at least that's, that's what I remember about it for some reason that's I think that's what I can remember about it I don't know but let me know if that's true or not uh, I know I, I did a poll a while back and asked people whether or not uh, they had sorghum in their area and a lot of people are like no actually we don't have any sorghum in our area all they don't see any grown at least it's not a super common crop, and I don't know what the reason for growing it is versus other crops. So, I just know you can see it in some places, and other places you don't see it very often. Most people do corn, I think, and that's because I'm, I think the nutrients in corn is probably better than uh, the nutrients in sorghum, if I had to guess. Just coming over here to check this real quick, because... I want to see, this is for manure, so it's only to sell manure, I guess not to uh, collect manure. I was just curious whether you can get manure from there or not. That's all. Anyways, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody has been doing well and they have been enjoying the summer thus far. Been a little bit, of, a little sick lately. Uh, today I feel a lot better. Well, last couple days I've been feeling a lot better than I had before, which is excellent. I always like that. Uh, feeling good is always helpful. So I went out fishing this morning, which is always fun. Caught a few bass, some walleye too, which kind of threw me off a little bit actually. I don't normally catch walleye uh, where I fish, but there are walleye there. And you can find them from time to time, so they're just not super common. But it was fun. For those people who are wondering, people will always ask me this question, how do you get the FPS counter up there? That's done with console commands. And uh, on this map, on the server at least, right now, it fluctuates a little bit. And it's to do with the silos. The silos, uh, for a reason, fluctuate, make my FPS fluctuate a lot. Um, so, I don't know what the deal is there, or what the, I don't know why it decides to do that, but it does for my particular rig. But, it's fine. So I could actually take the limiter off. And, uh, now I have 64 frames a second, but those silos that you see in front of us are the ones that always, 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 always make my FPS drop. And you'll watch, you'll see it in a second as we drive close to it. So like, as I'm outside, you can see it dropping now. It's really strange, I don't know what the deal is. It's always in this little area here. Anyways. 
So let's go take another load of sorghum. Uh, we're trying to sell as much as we can, of course, in the hour. So from 11 to 12. That's the idea, at least. Try and sell as much as we can. Because uh, other than the great demands, I, I don't think we've been selling any grain unless we absolutely had to. Which has been kind of interesting, actually. Uh, not soybeans, not rye. Oats, sort of, there we go. Uh, which has been the case for us, at least. That's what we've been doing. Uh, just trying to sell on great demands only, just because that's where you make the most money. And if I had to guess... Yeah, we've made $182,000 so far on this great demand, which is good. Still not as great as the great demand with uh, compost on American Outback. I don't know if you guys saw that episode or not. I'll try and put a link in the top right hand corner for you guys. Man, I couldn't believe how much money we made on that. That was ridiculous. I think on that one day, I think I made like a million dollars, but maybe it wasn't that much, but it felt like it was a million dollars. Because we just made so much money. So we have about one more load to go uh, of sorghum, and then we're good to go. Originally, I started recording this, and uh, then my game decided to crash. So I don't know what the deal is there, but it's fine now for the time being. We'll see how long this lasts. Hopefully, you know, indefinitely would be nice, but I'm not 100% sure. Only time will tell, really. But um, so originally, we uh, we sold, we gave the cows a little bit of straw, but. Um, they already have the straw now, so I can't give them more straw. But that's the way it goes sometimes. I don't know, if you, if you ever record for YouTube or anything like that, or for any anything really, uh, Murphy's Law, if something can go wrong, something will go wrong, basically. So what happened was, I'm playing on the server with Spud right now, and originally Spud couldn't get on the server. And then he, you know, did the old reboot things, reboot your modem reboot your computer and then he got on and then I disconnected it and couldn't even see the server and I'm like okay so then I had to reset the server so Spud had to hop off the server and then uh, reset the server and then I was able to see it it was really strange I don't know why but only when I reset the server was I able to see it so very strange and perhaps that's because I disconnected while being on the server I don't know who knows Servers are funny business. Ah, well. Did any of you guys uh, pick up anything from the Steam sale that went on? I had an intention to pick up something from the Steam sale, and then I didn't in the end. Uh, in the end, I didn't pick up anything at all. There was a couple things I was eyeing, but I was like, uh... Nothing that I was like, I need to try that. Like, Transocean 2 looked pretty neat, but I don't, it's not crazy different than Transocean 1. So, that was one of the things. And there's a couple other games in there. Imperion looked interesting as well, but never picked that up. One second, water break. It's way too late to be drinking coffee, which is why I'm drinking water in case anybody asks. Just playing American Truck Simulator earlier on today. Had the old radio on with, uh, I think it was like electronic music I had on. Uh, basically what I went what I did was I went through a Google music and I had like a specific uh, playlist on I think it was like energy booster playlist. It was ridiculous. It was like Electronic dance music and that was all that was playing on that particular one. It was good once in a while electronic is good I mix it up. I go between classic rock and electronic music. There's not much in between I'm not I don't like country so much um, some of the older country maybe but the newer stuff it doesn't really tickle my fancy at all. I know a lot of you guys do like country, but and that's fine. It's just not my thing, that's all. So if you ever see me in a truck driving down the road, it'll be you'll hear classic rock playing, like ACDC or something like that. Not country. Normally it's the other way around, but... Actually, the other day, where was I? It was like walking back from Fisher or something like that. And uh, this guy in like an F-150, you know, like a Harley Davidson edition, um, that was a few years ago. He's driving down the street, and I hear this music. I'm like, oh, what's that? So I kind of like, you know, cock my head off to the side a little bit and listen for the music. And I'm like, I wonder what kind of music it was. It was like heavy metal music. It was pretty funny. Um, made me laugh. That looks like corn. Ah, 
that's unfortunate. I'm not surprised because I don't know if there's a... Um, if there is a defuse pattern for the Sorghum, and that's probably the reason why. That's probably why you don't see, why you see corn as opposed to Sorghum, but at least it has the texture on the inside. Oh, that's neat. I love how those little plates come out. It'd be cool if they actually, I think they, uh, if those little hand cranks actually went. They might when they close. Let's find out. We'll just watch this for, for quick. Nope. Nothing. That'd be a little bit too much detail, I think, in one of those things. If they actually turned when um, those slid open, that would be really cool, but that'd be a lot to ask. I don't know how often people sit there and watch <laughs> those things, so. But it's still kind of neat that you have them. It's still kind of neat, so. Alright, let's get some more sorghum. I think we'll have maybe one more load after this. Uh, it won't even be a full. We'll just do this for the last load, I think, and that'll be it. One of the funny things I noticed this, I, don't, I think I mentioned this before, but what will actually happen is if you, like, go to, like, you know, this screen and then you go back out. Let's say I go this way. I, as you saw just before, I went off to, off to the side a little bit, and now I'm in the field. It's different than single player because in single player, if you did that, you would it would just pause it, but in uh, multiplayer, it doesn't. Which is kind of interesting. Oh, you can go this way. That's curious. I'll have to keep that in mind for next time. I think every time I've ever driven up there, I've always gone, like, the way I just went before. Anyways, here's some of the other fields around the farm. We don't own these. But, uh, they're there. And we're coming up to one of the fields we actually do own. Should probably stay in the road here. On the right, on the left, actually, you'll see one of the other fields we own. What does that sign say? There's a little sign on that person's property. Maybe it was like a political sign. I don't think it was, but... Oklahoma State University. Football, I guess? I don't know. If you know if that's for football, let me know. I don't watch any foot. I don't watch any sports, really. When you don't have cable, you kind of, you're limited to what sports you can watch. You can catch highlights, but you don't really watch sports. I'm okay though. I was never really into watching sports anyways. I think I like watching baseball from time to time. Soccer when it's the World Cup maybe, but outside that. Let me know in the comments below what sports you guys, you like to watch. Hockey? If you're Canadian maybe? Hockey's always a good sport. Here's the livestock farm. The southern tip of the livestock farm there. And coming up to, I think there's an intersection up here with the road. Oh, apparently we're taking this way around. Okay, whatever. So that's our grass field right there that we planted. I think it needs a little bit of TLC right now. And there's Spud working away over there. Let's see if we can't see him. Where is he? At the other side of the field. Can't see him anymore. I think this road actually turns left up here. Yes, that's good. So what I was thinking about doing is uh, mixing field, or mixing, merging, is a, the word I guess I would work better. Merging field 11 and 10. What do you think about that? I think we should make, those, make that one big field instead of having it as two separate fields. Shouldn't be a problem. We have a plow. I think we have Joe Lindbergh's 2723 plow, I think is what we have. If I had to guess. I think that's the one at least. Don't hit the telephone pole. So that's that lag I was talking or not lag, but that's that frame rate I was talking about. This is the main farm. I don't understand. Everywhere else is fine. And when I played on this uh, single player, didn't have a problem. So I don't know what the deal is. I think it's just some of the equipment we have. So that's some of the equipment we have right now. If we look in there. I don't think we ever, I don't think we've seen all this, but I'll show it to you. So we got the Flygel. This is the OEBO Flygel. This is the low low hitch one. We have the John Deere 1770 
uh, cedar, and then the actual planter itself. That's an I think it's I'm not sure I think it's an air cedar. Yeah, clean sweeper precision planting, and then we also have this guy right here. And then we have the kins or kinsey, depending who you want to talk to. I think it's this kins. Uh, the E is silent apparently. Uh, overloader, and then we have twenty seven. Where is it? Twenty six. 23VT, uh, that one's from American Eagle Modding, and then we have in-game stuff, in-game stuff, uh, in-game stuff, in-game stuff, and this is just from the uh, Coat Universal pack, pretty awesome, and then this is the 7530 I think it is, yeah, and the sprayer of course. The soil mod, you do do a little bit of spraying, so it's always nice to have a big sprayer. Strange enough, you can actually spread lime with that thing too. I don't think that's super common in real life, but in the game you can do it, should you choose to. Alright. Gotta take this turn nice and slow. Hope I didn't need to take it that ridiculously, but it's fine. Alright. It's funny, uh, who is it? John. Farmer John, I think it's I think it's 1960-60 or something like that. And I, I can't remember the combination of numbers. Anyways, Farmer John, uh, he put a posted a nice screenshot of his farm uh, on FarmSim, and uh, it was kind of a neat little photo because instead of having like a vertical green elevator style like this right here, uh, he had uh, you can call it an auger system where you have like an auger at the bottom of the silo going it out, which is pretty cool. There we go. Let's get the second part there. That's good. Yeah, and I thought that was kind of neat um, because uh, I, I've never think I've ever really used that. I think I don't just because it's a lot of work. I think. Really, what happened there? That's weird. Anyways, uh, I don't think I've used that a lot just because. It's not my style, I guess. I, like, I guess I like more I like the bigger style farms like this, where you have like big silos where you're storing a lot of grain. Um, but I know Craft Farms and Farmer John uses that style primarily because they, um, I think Craft Farms, I think he's his grandpa, I think it is, if memory serves, has a smaller farm, smallish. Like not like if you compare it to like this farm, for example, and Farmer John. Uh, his family has like a small, medium-sized farm, I think. I don't know, it depends where you are, like... Their farms may be huge where they're from, it just depends, right? So like here, from where I'm from in Canada, uh, like a big farm would be like, probably a thousand acres plus. Would be a big farm. Small farm would be like, you know, 500 and below. Medium would be five to one thousand acres, something like that maybe. And then if that's a small farm, if you go out west in, in western Canada, if you go out to like Alberta, Saskatchewan, uh, like you get thousands of acres of farms. It's like if you have, you're like, oh, how many acres of farm? How many acres do you farm? Oh, I farm about 2,000 acres. Huh, small stuff, eh? Yeah. And the guy, other guy would ask, like, how many acres do you farm? And he would say something crazy like, you know, oh, 10,000 acres. Something like that. Anyways. Well, that's the way the world works. That was a wrong turn, apparently, on my behalf. For some reason, I thought that maybe that continued on, but I guess it doesn't, so. But, that's the way things work, so. We get a little bit of rain here lately, which has been nice. I got a little bit of rain this morning, a little bit of rain yesterday, which is really good for the farmers in the area because they've been uh, needing some rain. And it was a relatively gentle rain, which is good as well. Often, when you get rain, you just get a crazy amount of rain, but this time around, we got a nice, gentle rain, which is good. Because it doesn't hurt the plants, I guess. I think that's why my father-in-law always says a gentle rain. I'm pretty sure it's the reason why, but... Anyways. Alright, folks, I think we're going to end the episode there for now. My name is Ian Robson. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Oklahoma. 
I know I always do. And if you did, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more Oklahoma. Stop at the stop sign. Alright, that's it for me for today, folks. Like I said, I'll catch you guys later.